Welcome to our video where we explore some of the most beautiful and fascinating fish that are located around Australia. Our first fish lives in the Great Barrier Reef right off the coast of Australia. You probably recognize this fish with its orange and white striped body. These cute fish make clicking and popping sounds to communicate with each other. What do you think this fish is called? This is called a clownfish. Some clownfish are yellow, pink, or even black with white stripes. Australia has several types of clownfish. The orange clownfish became a worldwide star as Nemo in Finding Nemo, and yes, he lives in Australian waters. What kind of fish are covered in bright blue, green, orange, and yellow? These cute fish are really colorful, but have a shy personality and like to hide among rocks and coral. This fish has a slimy skin instead of scales. That slime keeps them safe from getting sick like a built-in shield. Their slime smells yucky to other animals so most predators won't eat them. What kind of fish is this? This is a mandarin fish. They are only two to three inches, long, tiny, but terrific. Mandarin fish don't dart around like other fish, they glide gently. Their bright blue color actually glows under sunlight or camera flashes like they're sparkling stars of the sea. You can find them in the warm, tropical waters around Queensland and the Great Barrier Reef. What kind of fish has frilly whiskers on its face? They are flat and have patterns on their bodies that make them look like a piece of carpet. Some people have called these fish carpet sharks, but that's not their real name. Those beard-like bits are called dermal lobes, and they help the shark look like seaweed to hide from prey. What kind of fish is this? This is called a wubbagong shark. Wubbagong is an aboriginal word that means shaggy beard. They are about 3 to 10 feet long and live in shallow reefs and rocky areas all around southern and eastern Australia. Wubbagongs are great at hide and seek as they blend into the ocean floor so well other fish can't even see them. Wubbagongs usually leave humans alone. But if you step on one by accident, it might give a grumpy nip, so be sure to look out for them. What kind of fish has a shiny blue body and bright yellow tail? They often swim in schools, which means lots of fish together, like a big fishy family. They eat algae off the coral, helping keep reefs clean and healthy. Even though they're not very big, this fish can zip around coral like lightning fast. This fish can change color to a darker blue or even pale blue when it's frightened or scared. What kind of fish is this? This is called a blue tang. The famous fish from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory is a blue tang. When it gets dark, blue tangs find a cozy coral spot and tuck in for bedtime just like kids. You can find blue tangs swimming through the Great Barrier Reef right off the coast of Australia. What kind of fish is covered in bright electric blue spots with deep blue and purple stripes? It looks like it's wearing a costume for a fishy fashion show. It's a small fish about one foot long and it doesn't come out during the daytime they are somewhat shy. Because they're so hard to find and so beautiful, people think spotting one is super lucky. Like finding hidden treasure. What kind of fish is this? This is a called the Eastern Blue Devil Fish, but don't worry, it's not scary at all. It just has cool colors that look like something from a fairy tale or video game. 
These fish live in the beautiful coral and rocky reefs and are part of the reef community that keeps everything in balance. The eastern blue devil fish is found only in Australian waters. Along the east coast, it's an Aussie original. What kind of fish cleans other fish's teeth and scales, just like an underwater dentist? These smart fish have special spots on the reef where bigger fish swim up and wait their turn to get cleaned. They love to eat dead skin, bugs, and even parasites off other fish. Oh, for us, yum for them. What kind of fish is this? This is called a cleaner wrasse. These fish are only about four inches long, but they're not afraid to swim right inside a big fish's mouth to clean it. Cleaner wrasses have bright blue, black, and white stripes, making them easy to spot. And super stylish. You can find cleaner wrasses all over the coral reefs of Australia, helping to keep the reef community healthy. What kind of fish has long, leafy fins that make it look just like floating seaweed? This fish is part of the seahorse family and doesn't swim fast, just floating along with the current. They like to eat tiny shrimp by slurping them up through a long snout like a straw. With its leafy body, it blends in so well that predators and people often can't even see it. What kind of fish is this? This is a leafy sea dragon! Even though they're called sea dragons, they don't breathe fire. They're gentle and peaceful. Leafy sea dragons live only in southern Australian waters. They're rare and super special. They're about the size of a ruler. Because they're so rare and beautiful, leafy sea dragons are a protected species. It's illegal to touch or take one. What looks like a swimming flag. It has bold black, white, and yellow stripes, and a long, wavy top fin that flutters as they swim like a flag in the ocean. Their pointy snouts help them reach into to tiny cracks in the reef to eat sponges, coral bits, and other tasty ocean snacks. With their long fins and graceful movements, these fish look like they're dancing underwater. What kind of fish is this? This is called a Moorish idol. Remember Gil, the black and white striped fish in the tank? He's a Moorish idol. These fish are really gentle and grow to about 8 to 10 inches about the size of a school ruler. You can find Moorish idols in warm waters including the beautiful Great Barrier Reef off Australia's east coast. People have loved Moorish idols for a long time. In some cultures, they were thought to bring good luck. What kind of fish has long spiky fins that look like a lion's mane? They are striped with red, white, orange, and brown. They look like they're dressed for a royal ball. Watch out, though. These fish have venom in their long spines to protect themselves from predators. This fish can open their mouths really fast. They can suck and prey in less than a second faster than a blink. What kind of fish is this? This is called a lionfish. They look like they're dancing with their fluttery fins and flowing moves. Lionfish look like they're performing a slow underwater dance. Because of their spines and camouflage, not many sea animals try to mess with a lionfish. You can spot lionfish in the northern parts of Australia, like around the Great Barrier Reef. What kind of fish has beaks like parrots? They have hard, bumpy teeth that form a beak, just like a real parrot's. They use it to chomp on coral. These fish are some of the most colorful fish in the sea with bright blues, greens, pinks, and purples. They are busy eaters. 
You can even hear them crunching coral underwater with their strong beaks. At night, they make a slimy bubble around their body like a sleeping bag to keep safe from predators and parasites. What kind of fish is this? This is called a parrotfish. Parrotfish clean the reef by eating algae that could smother the coral. After using their beak, parrotfish have a second set of teeth in their throat to grind food even more. They're reef celebrities. With their bright colors, silly habits, and helpful nature, parrotfish are one of the most popular fish in the ocean. I hope you enjoyed learning about a few fish that are seen around Australia. The ocean has so many different fish, we may need another video to cover even more interesting and beautiful underwater sea creatures. Thank you for watching.